There has been a lot going on. People have been stuck at home. Businesses have been closed. Even the Fox 2 Hall of Shame was put on hold, but now the bad guys are back and Rob is here to hunt them down. Rob. You know, I take the pandemic seriously, but when the governor announced construction workers could get back to work before most everyone else, one not so good contractor went back to doing his thing. So I'm back to doing mine. Say hi to Seth. I'm Rob Walchek from Fox 2. Who are you looking for? I'm looking for Seth Shuren. Uh, that's you. Oh, yeah, that is you, Seth. Hey, listen, I got to ask you some questions. His customers say Seth is the master of the fence farce. We gave him $2,180 um, and never saw him again. And while he may be good at tricking people out of their money. From, whoa, where are you going? He's not very good at getting away with it because he keeps getting arrested. I'm kind of surprised he showed up to court because he didn't seem to have much of a case. He didn't have a case. And while the pandemics kept everyone else at home. I just had a bad feeling about who he was. Seth is still swinging for the fences. Get away from me. I don't want to be on the news. Yeah, I was hoping to have a, a fence last summer. This is Thomas and Christina. In early March of this year, I interviewed them about a fence guy who took their money in bail. He seemed like a nice guy. It was a small company, so we thought, you know, why not use a small company? And he also had the best price. <laughs> they hired Seth Churin and his company, 21st Century Fence, a year ago. But after giving him $3,400, all they have to show are the stakes Seth put in marking where the fence was supposed to be built. We would try calling and he wouldn't answer, and then and we get a text message later in the night with some excuse why he sh couldn't show up. The couple have nice dogs who need a fence, but Seth doesn't care. He never showed. We went to small claims court and we did get a judgment against him. Here's a judgment, but Seth hasn't lifted a fence post or a finger to pay them back. And so you haven't gotten a dime? Not yet, no. Remember, I shot this interview in early March. Then the coronavirus pandemic hit. A stay-at-home order was given by the governor. But I still got more people contacting me about Seth. He advertises on Facebook Marketplace a lot. Alicia hired Seth to build a fence last fall. He had a different name for his company then. He took more than $2,100 to start the work, but never did. Once I realized that he was not going to come out and do the job. Um, unfortunately for me, I waited until that point to Google him <laughs> and saw several complaints. And she saw his mugshot. Alicia filed a criminal complaint and Seth was arrested and charged with larceny by conversion. But due to the pandemic, the courts have been closed and justice is being delayed. In fact, Seth Churin has been charged with larceny by conversion in three different counties. But the cases haven't gone to trial yet. Honestly, my opinion is that he should be in jail. Then a couple of weeks ago, Governor Whitmer announced construction workers would be allowed to go back to work. And that's when Liz saw an ad for a fence guy on Facebook Marketplace. I had said I had been contacting other fence companies, and because of the stay-at-home order, they all said that they needed a few months to get materials and that they couldn't do a job for two months. And he said he could do it in three days. Seth Turin came out lickety-split and asked for a deposit. But before handing over the dough, Liz texted him, asking him for references. He told me that he didn't trust giving me references, that I would ruin his loyal customers, and that me contacting his customers would just ruin his whole business, and that if that's how I was going to be, then whatever. Liz had such a bad feeling about the guy, she contacted the Hall of Shame. Seth Churin sure gets around. According to the Michigan State Police, he was arrested last year in Trenton, Clinton Township, Grand Blank, just to name a few. And Seth has a lot of addresses, but I didn't see him at any of the homes he had listed. Instead, I found Seth Churin living way out in St. Clair County. There's his truck with, I guess, the latest fence company name he's using. And here he is in Oakland County. Looks like he's pitching another fence job. A few days later, I catch up to the fence phony and worn outside Lowe's. I'm all masked up with a boom mic operator and a cameraman. Time to bust a bad guy while practicing social distancing. I'm Rob Walchek from Fox 2. Who are you looking for? I'm looking for Seth Shuren. That's you. Oh, yeah, that is you, Seth. Hey, listen, I got to ask you some questions. How come you're uh, not paying back that Christina and Thomas? I already went to court over it. Went yeah, you to went to court over it, and you have a judgment. They have a civil judgment against you. I will sue Oh, that's fine. You got to, speaking of suits, here's a lawsuit right here. From, whoa, where are you going? 
No, oh, you stop and talk to me, Seth. Come on. Oh, don't worry about me. I don't want to be on the news. Seth, you've been. It's against the law what you're doing right now. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. What's uh, against the law is I what you've been you. doing. You were arrested six yeah. times last year, Seth. Weren't you? Come on, stop and talk to me for a minute. Come on, Seth. You know, even with my mask on, people still seem to recognize me, especially when I say, you're in the Hall of Shame. Seth is going to be real busy this summer with all his court cases. He hasn't been convicted of anything yet, but he's got active criminal cases in three counties. He'll... Uh, but Rob, I got to ask you, in this age of COVID-19, weren't you at least a bit worried that this phony fence guy might give you more than just a runaround? You know, I told the boss, I got a feeling that this guy is not going to let me get within six feet of him. And he certainly ran away. So I was all masked up. We were safe. We had the boom mic. We kept it clean. But this guy just ran away as I expected he would. Rob Wojcik, always yeah, good if to have you back on the job. Taryn. It was good to hear uh, definitely that uh, hall of shame coming from your mouth. And that woman, I want to point out, it's key. If someone's not going to be willing to give you references, that's a red flag right there. So it's, it's good that this came together like that. Yeah, she was a, a, a smart consumer, and this guy's a sneaky guy. And I am glad to be back doing all of shames, I got to tell you. Be glad good. to see you, too. Thanks, Rob.